What's up, Team DMS? It's the Master Stylist, and I am back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get from the picture on the left to the right. We're using conditioner only. So we're going to start by shampooing your client's hair really well. I am going to um, just make sure that you are rinsing the hair really, really well before you start applying the conditioner. I'm using Kenra's uh, Dandruff shampoo or i believe it's anti-itch or something like that but it's really good and it also helps to strip any remaining um you know color excess color that's left in the hair but of course her hair is faded really bad so we don't um there is no <laughs> color to be stripped <laughs> um it is time for her a relaxer but i'm not liking the way that her hair is feeling um so i know that if i put a relaxer on it right now it's gonna fall out so we are using virals purple and their blue conditioner and you guys are going to see how lit this conditioner really is. Now, it doesn't last long. It's really good for freshening up color. But because we are going to change her color and give her a relaxer like within the next two weeks, I don't want to put actual color in her hair because um, it'll just be too damaging trying to go back and remove it. So we're just going to do something that's a little bit um, on a temporary side so that um when it's time for us to do her color change and her relaxer and everything we're not um putting any more stress on her hair that she already has this conditioner it is um it has the different bond elements and protein and uh, it's very moisturizing so as well as coloring the hair um it's very good for um it's a good treatment as well so once we rinse this out her hair is gonna feel amazing really soft and it's it's kind of like a two-in-one instead of coloring the hair then going back and conditioner you're kind of um getting a two-in-one and a little bit does go a very long way Now with the purple, I do notice that it's not as uh, concentrated as the blue. So we have to really be generous when doing the purple, especially when we are covering up, um, you know, previously colored hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and comb that through and get that smoothed in all over. You want to make sure, just go back and check, just like you were doing color um, any other way and just making sure that you are getting the hair completely saturated um, all over the hair. So when rinsing the hair, you want to make sure that you are using cold water, not cool. Um, you want to use 100% cold water. The cold water allows the cuticle to be sealed and, um, and that's what using color or conditioner. So, you know, the dryer opens the cuticle with the heat to allow the product to penetrate into the cuticle or the cortex, depending on what color you're using. And then the cold water is going to go ahead and seal that that color or conditioner, whatever you're using, inside of the hair. 
as you can see, it is definitely time for a relaxer. But when I have clients like this who have color treated hair all over, I do not relax their hair very often. So it's usually about eight, sometimes to 12 weeks, depending on the client's hair and how fast their hair grow. Um, because it's just not necessary. Um, we're constantly applying heat and other elements to the hair. So you just don't want to damage the hair. And you guys have seen her in a lot of my videos. And I, you know, we change her color pretty often. And we have yet to jeopardize the integrity of her hair. Sometimes it will get dry because she just don't be doing what she's supposed to at home. <laughs> But for the most part, um, her hair is thick, uh, it's healthy, and we don't have any issues at all. The flat iron that I'm using today is part of the Main Life Collection. It is my very own flat iron, and you can find this flat iron at MainLifeStudio.com. It does say pre-order, but I believe they come in today, so those flat irons will be shipped out as soon as possible. It is a digital flat iron ceramic coating. Um, it is the bomb. It's very sleek. It's thin. It is not thick. It has auto shut off, and it works great. It does not have spaces. It grips the hair pretty well. And I absolutely love it. It's something I've been uh, researching for a very long time now. And finally, it is ready. So I'm just doing row curls all the way around her hair, not in any specific way. Um, they don't have to be touching as another person commented and said, my curls don't touch. <laughs> but anyway, um, because we're gonna comb this out, she's gonna wear it flat, like little pixie style. So until we get ready to um, do something else with her hair. Y'all excuse my very rude elbow in the way, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you kind of get the picture. I'm just kind of alternating directions in the curls uh, in the top because we don't want it like so uniform. Although I'm going to comb them out, it looks better um, when you don't just put everything um, in the same way. You know, it's it doesn't have to be super neat like, you know. That's kind of played out. But anyway. <laughs> and this is my sample flat iron. When I get my actual shipment in, I will do a full video showing you guys the flat iron. Uh, you know, the way it's made, all of those good things. So stay tuned for that video. It will be really, really soon uh hopefully in the next couple of days so you guys stay tuned for that as well MS. Then you go ahead and take your rake comb, wide to comb, whatever you call it. We all have different names for it. But you take your comb and you go ahead and just comb all those curls out, get those lines out, and comb it your way. You guys have seen me style pixies in different types of ways. Um, this is a true pixie cut. Just remember that every shortcut is not a pixie cut. A, pi a pixie cut is a specific 
type of cut and it is very short. Um, we're going to go ahead and clean up her sides and just finish getting that look uh, nice and polished for, you know, the client until it's time for her to come back. You know, I'm going to use my bed head wax stick on the sides to keep those sides nice and smooth down. I do have a link in my Amazon um, link for you guys to go ahead and grab yours. It is the bomb. And I'm using New Expressions uh, Shine Spray. And this is the finished look. Pretty simple. Uh, easy to maintain. You know, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell to get future notifications. I love you guys so, so very much. And I will see you again for the next video.